What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, you guys know by now, this channel is about looking good and smelling amazing. So if you're out there and you like me and you love to look good and smell great, then you've come to the right channel. Why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. So guys, I have finally hit the big 20K subscribers, which is kind of a milestone here on YouTube yep. and the fragrance community. So thank you to all of my subscribers uh, for subscribing to the channel. I got some exciting things coming up uh, in the next coming uh, weeks on the channel. I'm going to be changing things up a little bit, doing some things a little bit different. And one of those things that I'm going to be doing different is my content is going to be a little bit more structured and regimented. Um, I, try, I want to try to bring something new and fresh, you know, to the fragrance uh, community by, um, you know, like I said, having some more structured content on Mondays is going to be uh, what I'm going to call top 10 Mondays. Uh, so on Mondays, we'll feature some kind of top 10 list of some sort because uh, the subscribers do enjoy the top 10 videos. But I will say this, I'm getting kind of tired of uh, some folks, all they do is top 10 videos. So I uh, definitely don't want to be that person. Um, on Tuesdays, I want to uh, pick back up with my Two Cent Tuesdays. So uh, that'll give me a chance to review fragrance uh, on an individual basis and kind of break down these fragrances, um, yep. you know, one at a time and give some more detail on them. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday will kind of be toss-up days. I may do something on those days, maybe a bonus video here and there on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. On Fridays, we're going to have fragrance and fashion. Friday. Oh, you didn't tell me yes, about that. Yes, the three <laughs> fragrance and fashion Friday. So on Fridays, I'll, I'll do my style tips. Uh, if you missed the video on uh, my shoe collection, I've done that video. I've also talked about um, a few suit videos. Where I've talked about some of my suits and stuff like that. So uh, we've talked about that. And uh, so we'll continue with the, the style stuff on Fridays. And then on Saturdays, this is a new segment which will be featuring. Miss Bowtie. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, seem to like when she is on the channel. I certainly enjoy it. Uh, so we'll be starting a new segment on Saturdays called Scent Versation Saturdays. Mm. Scent Versation Saturdays. And this is the first one. We're going to kick it off uh, with the inaugural uh, segment of Scent Versation Saturdays. What you guys are going to see uh, during Scent Versation Saturdays is myself and Miss Bowtie. Uh, we're going to be talking about fragrances, of course. Uh, but we're also going to cover uh, various topics. A lot of times they will be fragrance related. Uh, sometimes it may be on something that's kind of uh, some kind of current event of some sort. Uh, we're not getting into politics, uh, but some type of, you know, uh, some type of scandal or something that's going on. And we're also going to uh, kind of give some relationship advice as well. Uh, we have a, a long 20 year relationship. So uh, I think we're qualified to talk about that. So this yeah. kind of, we're going to change it up a little bit. Sometimes we're even going to go live, you know, uh, Woo! so we'll go yeah, live. Yeah. Right. And I uh, have, give the guys a chance to ask some questions and kind of get some feedback. So it's going to be fun guys. We got a lot of fun stuff coming on the channel. Uh, so again, I'm excited about all that. Thank you very Happy much. Um, thank you very much. Uh, but we're excited about the, the, the changes that we're making. And again, so excited about having my new co-host on Saturday nights, Miss Bowtie, to talk about <laughs> some fragrance and various other things. Yes. Thank so, you for allowing me to. It took me a little while to get comfortable. You know, I'm a little camera shy. You guys think I'm really a natural, but, um, and I might be, but I don't. You are a natural. I don't feel that way. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to see, but I'm really excited about your, uh, our new segment, our new segment. There you go. Our new segment. Absolutely, guys. So uh, we're going to kick it off, as I said again. And tonight we're going to be talking about the House of Bond number no. nine. Right. Um, it's a fragrance, fragrance house that I love. And I think um, it's safe to say you love it, right? I do. I have my favorite. So, mm. yeah. OK. So, uh, like I said, we're going to talk about uh, fragrances from this house. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the different ones and some of the ones that she likes. Uh, she'll tell you what her favorite is. I'll tell you what mine is. And uh, then we're going to talk about the compliment factor um, as it relates to uh, fragrances, of course. And I was going to talk a little bit more about the compliment factor. There seems to be a lot of uh, talk in the fragrance community a lot of times about compliments. Mm -hmm. um, some guys seem to uh, 
to try to say uh, or act as if they don't care about compliments, but I think it's, it's, it's a cool thing. I always say it's cool when somebody gives you a compliment, but right. we've got some questions that we're going to, uh, to want to ask and some topics we want to cover and get from a male and female perspective. Sound like some fun? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into talking about bond number nine. Now, this fragrance house is a fragrance house that I personally enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, I have 15 fragrances here in front of me. Uh, from the house, uh, again, which in the case I like it, right? Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was this many, but yeah. <laughs> Clearly you love it. Absolutely. I do love the house. So again, we're just going to talk a little, about, a little bit about some of these fragrances and men. Uh, I'll tell you what my favorite is. She'll tell you what her favorite is. And, um, and like I said, we're moving to talking a little bit about uh, the compliment factor. Mm -hmm. All right. So first of all, like I said, I have 15 fragrances here. I'm going to quickly run through what they are. Uh, we have Shea Bond, we have Sag Harbor, we have Scent of Peace, which I love that bow tie, you know, I love the bow tie. Um, we have New York Oud, we have Bleecker Street, we have Greenwich Village. We have Ode New York. We have Bond Number no. Nine Signature Scent. Love that one. We have Hamptons. We have Bond Number no. Nine. I love New York for him. Or Bond Number no. Nine for him. We have the classic. This one is discontinued, so it's hard to get the, oh. hard for people to get their hands on this one, but. Beautiful Gourmand right here, which is New Harlem. Mm -hmm. We have the newly acquired Sutton Place, which honestly Sutton Place reminds me a lot of I Love New York for him, but it may be I Love New York for him reincarnated. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, it's gonna happen. But uh, we'll be fine. This is bond number nine, uh, Manhattan. Mm -hmm. We have Scent of Peace for her. And last but not least, the only 50 milliliter bottle I have, and that's for a reason, this is Little Italy. <laughs> Little Italy. <laughs> Little Italy, you know? Get it? <laughs> Little Italy? Uh, yeah. 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 All right. So, <laughs> so Little, Ita uh, Little Italy is the only 50 mil bottle that we have here. Now, again, that's for a reason. So, Ashley, now, so if I were to ask you first to pick your top five from this collection, what would the top five be for you? Okay, I did this before and I forgot. Well, I didn't forget all of them, but I'm gonna tell you guys already know the first one I'm gonna pick. And what's that? They already know, but y'all know I love this New York food. <laughs> this thing, somebody said something in comments before about, in, in one of the videos we did mm -hmm. that I rank fragrances like I would wear them. Right. And the truth is that's really what I do. So um, I'm not when I when I rank these or pick them, I don't really all the time think about how they smell on you. That's fine. <laughs> Although they smell great, I'm mm -hmm. always thinking about what I can get out of them. So this is definitely my favorite, the New York Oud. I mean, that's a great thing about Bond Number Nine scents. Uh, yes. Most of them are unisex. I mean, there are a few that are direct uh, directed and marketed specifically for men, but for the most part, they're unisex. So. Yeah. That that that's a great thing. So we got New York. Ooh. That's my first one. I'm what gonna else try to remember got? the ones I picked out. I know that this was another. Oh, they New York. Um, it's a good one. I like the music, but that's definitely my second one, and this is my third. Signature this scent. I love that one. And I remember you said that it would smell really good on me, and I should wear it more. Right. And I I haven't worn it yet, but I have sprayed it in the house, and I like it a whole lot. I just haven't worn it yet. Okay. But I plan to. So that's three. So that's three. And I'm trying to remember the last two. Um, I know Madden loves this one. Our baby loves this one. Bleecker Street, one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Really good, man. It's a, it's, I always say it's fresh, but then it's in green, but it's gourmand at the same time. So I like that about it. Um, let's see, hold on. I think you chose this one, honestly. You said I was gonna like the hamburger. You chose that one. I did choose that one. Sag Harbor You're was right. my. You're right. And I like the it. other one was it. I think it was. Oh Shea, yeah. I think it was Shea Bond. What's in this? 
Yeah, I think it was. This is so good. Actually, this is like number two for me. This is really yeah, it's, it's like a fresh floral yeah, with a slight, it's kind of slightly musky I right now. I think I did. And I would smell like money. I think I did. I think, did. I think it might have been, no, it might have been the signature okay. scent. But right. I think this was the last one that you chose. Are so you sure? Shea Bond, yep. I thought it might have been that one. Maybe not. No, it wasn't that one. <laughs> okay. That's a very masculine scent. I know it wasn't that. That was it. Sure? It was that or it was the Hamptons. It wasn't the Hamptons. What about this one? No. All right, so you probably That's right. a gourmand. It was this one. Okay. So when we initially talked about it, that was the one that you chose. So. All right, so my top five. New York food. Call my bag. We got Sag Harbor. Sag Harbor. We have Ode New York. Okay. We have the signature Sag set. Sag. And we have Shea Bond. So those are her okay, top five fragrances from all of the offerings that I have from bond number nine. Um, I will say um, of those five, those are all great scents. Of course, quite naturally, I love most of these. Uh, pretty much all of these I love except for a little Italy. Um, and But I will say this, little Italy is because it's just like an orange scent, like an orange citrusy scent. There's not really much um, much of anything else going on with that scent. So uh, that's why uh, personally, uh, it's not you know, one of my favorites, but I will say that it is a good layering scent with some of the other Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. So like Ode New York, it's good to layer with that. Uh, I can tell you specifically, uh, Centerpiece is kind of good to go with Centerpiece as well. So it does work well as a layering scent, but it's not really one that I just like to wear individually because uh, they don't really have any, um, any, right. any depth to it. It's kind of a linear scent. Um, doesn't really change a lot on the skin, but I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's just, you know. Yeah, and that, that's going to be another another topic we're going to cover. Uh, fragrance jargon and lingo. For dummies. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to cover that. That was her <laughs> idea. A 101. Uh, so we uh, can make sure everybody's up to speed on knowing what the, all these terms are that we throw around uh, so often in the fragrance community. Mm. All right. All right. So my personal favorite... Um, from all of these fragrances, of course, we have, what's funny is we have the same fragrance that we actually both love, which is this one, which is why we had a, I had a 50 milliliter bottle with this, which she has now <laughs> in her possession. Well, and, um, I haven't seen it lately. I'm not sure. But, uh, we both love that one, but my second favorite is a close second is Bleecker Street. And I go back and forth with uh, these two, uh, I have really developed a uh, an affinity for rose-based fragrances mm -hmm. um, over the past year, and so this one is just is just great. But this one, man, is just so unique. Uh, the blend, like I said, the freshness in it, and then it goes to a kind of kind of gourmand dry down. So I love the stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I think those are my favorite two. You like that one? This has to be one of yours, right? Yeah, it's that's the that's the new the, the newest acquisition there. This looks like my husband in a bottle. <laughs> that's why I like it. Y'all see that chocolate? That's chocolate. <laughs> hey, yes, this is really good. I, I smelled it just. I think that might be. I my do first like time. it. Let me see that yeah, one. Yeah, that's my first time smelling. I think, but yeah. now 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 this is what now smell this one. I think this scent is this one reincarnated. I don't think when I smell this, I like okay. it though. Okay, give both of them a, a whiff. And I smell this one. What? Babe, I told you we gotta get some coffee beans. <laughs> yeah, they smell. We'll get some coffee like, beans. Let's, like let's get a spritz there. They smell like One sibling. there. Yeah, they're not, I'm telling you. They they're smell. not identical, but they are pretty Fraternal. close. Yeah. yeah. Fraternal twins, there you go. <laughs> Not identical, but fraternal twins. Okay. All right, so, so they're very close. They're close. Oh, that's so good, y'all. You like that one? That's something. That one place. is, that fragrance right there. It is good. That, I will tell you, it's good. That pulls you in. Close, it's good. Close to you. Pull, pull me in close to you. So let's see. Um, I didn't get a good. He did. Uh, you sprayed a lot of that. 
All right, let's, so let's smell this one. All right, so. They're similar. Here's the thing. This one is like, this one is more, I think a little more classic, more vintage. It has something in it that makes it smell a little dated. Mm-hmm. And this is like, this is like more of like for pops, and this is more of like for a young for the, guy. For, in my opinion. Okay. No, when I say pops, I don't mean like I can go with that. A young pops. I'm saying like, you know, a, a much older man. That's my like the the child, the son. Yeah. Okay. Like it smells good. They're both great. I can go with that. Definitely can go with that. But they are a, a very They're similar, similar. Mm -hmm. fragrances. So um, overall, guys, again. The House of Bonham and I, to me, is a great house. Uh, it takes a lot of slack in the fragrance community for a lot of different reasons, which I don't want to get into that. But uh, nevertheless, again, it's a house that I really enjoy. Um, we'll talk about it offline. It's Sanfersation Saturdays. It's Sanfersation Saturdays, but we don't want to run too long on the video. That's so. true. Um, but we'll talk about that offline. But overall, I think it's safe to say my assessment as well as Ashley's assessment is we like the house. It has a lot of great offerings that both of us can wear. And uh, that's a very positive thing. And most of them, two things, smell great and they perform well on my skin. Yep. So, yeah, there you go. Um, so that's something that, that really, really uh, gives them bonus points for me is the fact that they smell great on my skin. So the topic that we're going to talk about tonight and this is a scent versation, right? So we're gonna to talk tonight about the compliment factor. Um, like I said, when we opened up this topic, compliments, uh, it's, a, it's a subject that uh, I think people are kind of split in the fragrance community about the whole idea of compliments. Yeah, some guys try to try to say, well, I don't care about compliments. And some guys really, really, uh, you know, make it, you know, interested in it, interested in being complimented. And, and I think here's the reality. I think the reality is, and I always say this, I don't wear fragrances for the compliments. But if someone paid me a compliment, it feels good. It feels good. So if somebody said, male or female, hey, what are you wearing? That smells great. It, it makes you feel good. So that's kind of where I stand on. You know, it's not like if I never receive a compliment, I would still be in love with fragrances because I love fragrances for me. But again, just the whole idea of compliments or the lack thereof is kind of split. So, I have five questions that I want to ask and I want to get my take on it and get your take on it as well so we have the male and female perspective on it. So the first question is, um, first of all, do you, personally, do you compliment folks on a fragrance? No good to be Personally, on that particular subject, um, I think I compliment here and there, but normally, for somebody that I know very well, um, I don't do. I don't think there has been many instances where it's been a complete stranger. I'm like, hey, you smell good. I think it's happened before, <laughs> but it's just I don't think it happens that often. And I think, honestly, for some people, um, that contributes to their whole 
idea in their, you know, personal feeling about compliments. Some folks say, hey, right. I never get compliments. But it's just not, it's not all the time that complete strangers compliment you unless you really smell good. Now, I've had that happen a lot. Um, but, again, it's just not something that everybody's comfortable doing. Uh, so just for me personally, it's something that I do occasionally. But for the most part, it's, it, it, if I do pay a compliment, it's to somebody that I know. All right, so uh, that's that's my take on it. Now, so the next question about compliments. Now, do you receive compliments when you are mm-hmm. Yes. Um, not overwhelming. So, um, so yes, I get them. I feel like, and I may be wrong, but I feel like as a female, I feel like men expect us to know. Negative attention. Right, but I feel like when they smell a woman smelling good, looking good, it's like that's what's supposed to be. So I don't feel like I've had too many people compliment me. Um, at least not the last couple of years. But I have actually when I was at uh, training, mm-hmm. um, we were having like a business reception. Um, this was almost a year and a half ago, or maybe two. And um, I was walking out the door, and the door opened, and that breeze, you know. Caught the hair. We call it. Sea Hodge. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and um, somebody was holding the door for me, and they caught that whiff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They caught that molecule. In sure, the sure. And uh, they was like, "What?" Are, it actually was a man, and he said, "What are you? What are you wearing?" And it was this. New York ooh. <laughs> New York ooh. So, um, and I said, "You know what? I just stole that out my husband's closet. It's actually upstairs, and you know, in my bag." So anyway, <laughs> that felt good though to know that, um, you know, people smell that you people, you can get someone's attention, and you do smell good. Um, so yeah, showstopper for sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I receive you? compliments yeah. uh, all the time, often on, on a fragrance, but that's because I mean, of course. I mean, that's what I do, man. I'm the bow tie fragrance guy, right? Uh, but, yeah, I definitely receive compliments. Question. Yeah. Give me a percentage. A percentage of what? Male, female. I have no idea. Oh, what? We don't, we, don't, we don't have time to break that down. Full of crap. All right. We don't you have don't time to, to get me. into that. Whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I definitely receive compliments. And I think, <laughs> you know, um, in line with what you said, I do feel that unsolicited compliments, I do feel like women compliment guys more when they smell yeah, good I think so too. versus women because I think there is that expectation for right. women that they, they're supposed to smell good. Correct. You know, if that makes sense. So I do think that contributes to that. So I do think unsolicited compliments, guys probably receive unsolicited, unsolicited compliments more, more. than women. Yeah, I so I just I was gonna ask the most memorable compliment that you received, but I think oh. you kinda of answered that. Yeah. Uh last last on the last question. But my most memorable compliment, and I shared this with uh on the channel uh a few weeks ago when I did my review on the, the fragrance uh Hasibat. Hachibat. Hasibat <laughs> from Nishane. However you pronounce that. Uh it's some guy <laughs> told me how you pronounce it. I think it's ha the G is silent, I think he said. Okay, whatever. Nishane Hasibat. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Go with it. And uh, it was <laughs> shortly after we were released from quarantine here in, in uh, South Carolina. I went to TJ Maxx. So, you know, they have the, the barriers up, like the plastic oh. barriers and barricade to protect mm-hmm. from the coronavirus. And yeah, all that. So I had a mask on. A young lady had a mask on as oh, well. Yeah, you told me about this. And I was paying for something. And with with mask on in the barricade, because Hachiba is a is that straight the one that was on your skin? Yeah, for like an hour and a half. And I kept <laughs> ranting, ranting and raving like, God, it's still on you my skin. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you can still see Sutton Place, see that? Oh. And this one, so they're, they're EDPs. Anyway, we're getting off subject. So uh <laughs> so from the other side of the barrier, she could smell my fragrance. And she was like, Michael, what is that you have on? You smell good. So it's memorable because, you know, of course, we had a barrier up between us and we're wearing masks that's and she crazy. still could smell the fragrance yeah. mm-hmm. and it smelled good. So that's a memorable compliment. Uh, so next question here. Uh, how does it make you feel when you receive a compliment? How does it make me feel? Mm-hmm. 
when you compliment me, it makes me feel amazing. There you go. Um, I can't even describe what, you know, coming from a compliment coming from the Botox fragrance guy. <laughs> If you get a compliment from this guy, then you're doing something right. <laughs> and then if it's, look, and normally they're his fragrances that I have on. So of course. anyway, um, it makes you feel good. I think it does um, something for your self-esteem when you, you know, you're doing something. Um, not that you're asking or you're doing it because you want someone to compliment you, but it just confirms that you, that you did that. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's just a really good um, boost for your, your ego um or whatever you want to call that uh when you look good and you smell good at the same time like you and that's what it's all about looking yeah. good and smelling amazing like right? me <laughs> like us like us <laughs> so yeah so um on those lines uh, of how does it make me feel i mean I, I stated this earlier it makes you feel good i mean i think i, I don't need like self i don't have self-esteem issues but I'm, right Far from having self-esteem issues, so it's it's not that kind of thing. But right. it, it just it makes most people whether it's a fragrance or just what you have on or whatever. It makes you feel good when somebody compliments you. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't evoke a negative emotion. Right. You know, so overall, it makes you feel me feel good when I get a compliment. It's cool. You know, mm -hmm. that's the way I describe it. I always say it's cool, male or female. Hey man, you smell good. What are you wearing? Mm -hmm. It's it's cool when that happens. So the last question that we have here is. So what fragrance that is it that you that you wear uh, that you receive the most compliments on? That would be Lyric Man. Okay, that's my other favorite. Another rose-based scent. Yep, that's like my second favorite right now. And uh, I've gotten countless com compliments on that particular fragrance. It's nice. just a beautiful, it's beautiful and soft and airy and rosy and yeah man I rose i'm telling you on a nice windy day oh that's the one so right. yeah, that that's been mine you How get much? that siage the wind catches it and then mm. it hits them in mm. the nostril <laughs> Bomb. Love it. all right so uh as far as the most complimented for me it's kind of hard to say because I, I wear so many fragrances but i will tell you if you kind of took a tally i'm sure that creed silver mountain water mm -hmm. Uh, Club Benue, Intense Man, and Dior Sauvage honestly will be up there for uh, three of the top fragrances that I get compliments on. And uh, that's, to me, I always tell people that's a testament that doesn't matter if it's designer or niche, mm -hmm. you know, what smells good is what's going to get the compliments. A good one, right? Yeah. That's the fragrance that uh, she bought me, the EDT in 2015. And, um, I was all I was already in love with fragrances, but that really kicked me into another level of wanting to collect yeah. uh, when I got that one. But anyway, uh, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. That's going to be another topic that we're going to, we're going to cover on Scent Versation Saturday. So, guys, that's it. Ashley, thank you. Thank uh, you. Miss Bowtie. Love it. Uh, this is our first uh, episode, first segment of Scent Versation Saturdays. Again, we're going to be covering some great topics on fragrances we're going to talk about some fragrances we're just going to have a good time man good time. um so guys leave down in the comment section how you enjoyed this first uh episode this first segment of mm -hmm. scent versation saturdays yes um tell us your thoughts i love it and i was telling mr bowtie fragrance guy that i know i'm not i don't like i'm not in the comments a whole lot but i know that on some of our videos you guys have been asking for different things um that you want me to discuss or uh different fragrances you want to know my take on mm -hmm. um and even some topics and things like that so drop in the comments what you want to want to hear from absolutely us. um because we definitely want to address some of the things that you know you guys want to hear so make sure you drop that in the comments as well and we can't wait to continue and see you guys next week absolutely so as she said, guys, I can't wait to uh, do this again next week. As I always say, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I know you guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with us, and we sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find us entertaining, because I'm your main man, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I'm the Bowtie Lady.
<laughs> I guess. Right. We love to look good and smell <laughs> amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking right. good. Keep smelling even better. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.